Hey, good evening, good evening, Facebook and all you purposepreneurs out there. This is Lexi Jones, otherwise known as Purposeful Lexi, and I am here with your mini training. Man, looks like I, it feels like I haven't been here for a long, long time. Um, it's been a couple of weeks, I think, but that's a, it's a long time. So I hope that everyone has had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that um, your holiday season is going well. And I just wanted to come on briefly and provide a mini training today. You know, this is actually a, you know, time of, can be a time of, you know, stress and all this hustle and bustle and all kinds of stuff, right? A lot of it that we put on ourselves. But this time of the year can also be a really good time for reflection and planning because, you know, people just tend to uh, shut down, right? Businesses tend to shut down. People tend to shut down. Even if, you know, you're working, maybe working with a skeleton crew or, you know, things just kind of slow down. So this could be a really good time for planning and reflection. Hey, Lakeisha, how are you? Good to see you and happy Friday to you too. So this can be a really good time for uh, reflection. So what I wanted to do over the next, um, starting today, but over the next week is to come on uh, each day and give you some tips on reflecting. We're gonna do a couple of days, two or three days on reflecting, and then we'll do another two or three days on planning. I wanna give you some tips for reflecting and some tips for planning as it relates to your business. Now, before we get started with today's tips, I just want to ask you to share the broadcast out, right? Share this broadcast out. There are other people who are in the mode of or preparing to get into the mode of reflection, um, and planning, and uh, they can use these tips, right? So do that, share the broadcast out. I'm getting ready to do the same thing. See? Getting ready to share it out. But I'm not gonna ask you to do something that I would not do myself. So give me a second to do that. Nope, 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 that's not what I wanted. There we go. All right. Now let's begin, let's begin, let's begin. And invite someone to the broadcast. All right, let's begin. So today I wanted to give you, um, start out by giving you some questions that will help you to start your reflection process. I have uh, six questions for you today, seven questions for you today. However, there are many more questions that you can be asking yourself and you will see this as we um, go throughout next week. You know, I'll be sharing other questions that you can ask yourself. But here are some questions that can help you to get started, okay, in terms of your reflection process and reflecting on the year. Hey, Precious, good to see you. So number one, the first um, question that you can ask yourself is, if the last year of my business was a movie now if you guys are part of i gotta pause right there if you guys are part of my um group my purpose and profit group um then you know i love movies right <laughs> one of my units is based on it um based on movies so anywho if the last year of your business was a movie what genre would it be what genre would it be so would it be a drama would it be a comedy would it be a thriller? Would it be a mystery? Would it be a romance, right? And you might think, well, that's kind of a crazy question for reflection, but ask yourself that. And then what you're gonna do is write out why did you say it was? Why, if you said that it was a comedy, that, you know, why do you feel it was a comedy? Write those things out. But Keisha says, definitely a drama. <laughs> Listen, for me, I think I was on the on the thriller this year. Lord have mercy. So, um, yeah, write out why that is, okay? You don't have to put it here in the comments, but take some time and write out why that is. The next question that you can ask yourself is what are two or three major themes that kept recurring in your business? What are two or three major themes that kept recurring in your business? So let me give you some examples. Um, was this a year of collaborations for you? Was this um, a year of making difficult decisions? Was this a year of shifting? Was this a year of you know learning to get along with less? 
what were the recurring themes this year in your business, okay? And so once you have identified maybe two or three of those recurring themes, then you wanna reflect on those, right? If you say, okay, this was a year of collaborations, reflect on that, okay? Don't just write collaborations and be done with it. Reflect on that, okay? What kinds of collaborations did you get involved in? Were they beneficial to all of the parties involved, to you? How were they beneficial? If they weren't beneficial, why weren't they beneficial, right? Why do you think they were not beneficial, okay? Would you do it again? Would you not? So don't just stop at identifying the theme, but you want to dig deep, right? Dig deep and figure out, you know, why was this a recurring theme in my business this year, okay? Number three, what did you accomplish this year that you are most proud of? And we have to ask this question, and it seems like it's so basic that we would want to reflect on these things. But listen, as humans, we tend to reflect on the negative, okay? We tend to reflect on the negative. The negative is, is, is what sticks out to us, and, you know, we're, we dwell on that. And so we can forget a lot of positive things that have happened over the year in our business, right? So write down... What did you, you know, ask yourself, what did you accomplish this year that you are most proud of? And, um, you know, what made you, what made you proud about that particular thing, right? If there were two moments or three moments, there's four things that you were particularly proud of, write them all down, right? And again, dig, dig into those details. What specifically made you proud about this moment? Was it because you accomplished something that you thought you would could never do, right? Did you discover a new skill? Whatever that may be, right? Number four, what disappointments or regrets did you experience? What disappointments or regrets did you experience, okay? So this is, um, you know, we don't wanna, sometimes we just kinda wanna bury some things that we go through, but we really want to identify those things, right? And so, of course, if I'm asking, you know, what disappointments or regrets did we experience, then um, the next question is definitely going to be, well, what did I learn, okay? What did I learn from this? And what did I learn can actually be a sub-question for all of these questions, right? But definitely in those moments where we were disappointed, definitely in those moments where we felt like we failed, we need to step back and figure out what we learned, okay? I'm a person who truly believes that we learn even more in moments of failure. We learn even more, or we can learn even more in moments of disappointment. If we can separate our emotion, you know, if we can just, you know, get over the, the, the bad feelings about whatever happened and objectively look at it, we can definitely learn a lot about ourselves and we can learn a lot about our business, okay? So now question number six, what didn't you have the opportunity to accomplish? You know, last year we may have sat down and wrote down some things that we wanted to do and maybe we didn't get to some of those things. So what were some things that you did not have the, uh, the opportunity to accomplish this year and why, okay? Was it simply just not, you know, in alignment with what you were doing this year? Was it because you just didn't take the steps or was it, you know, whatever, whatever the reason was, right? And is it something that you're going to pursue next year? But that'll, we'll be talking about that in the, in the planning portion of our series next week. Number seven, why was I in business? Why was I in business? Now, this might be seem like a crazy question. What do you mean, why was I in business? I, this is really important because we can get caught up in so, doing so many things in our business in a year, right? That sometimes we get away from our mission, vision, and value. All right. So we need to look at everything that we did over the past year in our business and just make sure that we were in alignment with our mission, vision and values. OK. And if you were great, if you weren't, you know what happened? 
do you still wish for that to be your mission? Do you still wish for those th list of things to be your vision and your values? Um, and if so, when we get to the planning portion, you know, we'll talk about, you know, how we can make sure that we are moving in alignment with our mission, vision, and values. So those are the seven questions um, that I wanted to share with you. These are some questions that you can uh, use to help you start the reflection process. These questions are, you know, they're, you can certainly ask tons more questions of yourself, but these are some that you can just give, um, you know, that you can get started with. So I'll go over them one more time. One, if the last year of your business was a movie, what genre would it be? Two, what were two or three major themes that kept recurring in your business? Three, what did you accomplish this year that you're most proud of? Four, what disappointments or regrets did you experience? Five, what did you learn from that? Six, what didn't you have the opportunity to accomplish? And number seven, why were you in business this past year? Why were you in business this past year? Hey, Dahlia, good to see you. So that's all I have for you all today. Told you I wouldn't be before you too long. Uh, catch me next week, starting on Monday. We'll continue this series on reflecting in our business. We'll spend a couple days doing that, and then we'll move on to how we can plan um, in our business for the next year, because there's an appropriate way to reflect, and there's certainly an appropriate way to plan so that we can accomplish even more next year, so that we can grow our businesses, scale them right, and accomplish all the goals that we desire to accomplish. So this is Purposeful Lexi. It's all that I have for you all today, and you all know what I say. Why choose between purpose and profit when you can have both? I'll talk to you guys next time. Share the broadcast. See ya.